hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is isabel omahi and if you're here for the first time please subscribe to my channel drop your comments down below and do give this video a huge thumbs up thank you so guys today i created this gorgeous soft glam and if you would love to see how i created this look please do keep watching this video you guys say hi to my gorgeous model she's so pretty i know right <laughs> So I started this makeup by cleansing the face of course and then I started my prep by hydrating the face and then I finished off my prep. You guys watch my prep video down below to you know get how I do my prep you know what I think about when I'm doing my prep you know all the details of my prep is in the video down below. So now I'm applying a primer on her face. I use the Sasha Mattifying Primer and I just prep the T-zones. What I'm doing now is going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in Pearl. And I'm just applying it at the high point of her face, her forehead, her, the high point of her cheekbone, the tip of her nose. This will just create an illuminating effect. That's why I'm doing it because I'm not going to be using so much highlighter for this makeup. Right now, I'm going in with my foundation and I mixed the um, NYX Bond is Glow or Bond to Glow foundation and my um, Huda Beauty in Cinnamon. I mix this with the Bond to Glow in Caramel. Yeah, I mix those two foundations to get this tone. And I'm just applying this with my buffing brush and I'll be blending it on her face. I know it kind of feels like it's a little bit darker than her, but I wanted to go with a shade that was, you know, more yellow because her undertone is kind of yellow. Yeah, and some parts were kind of white, but I did not want to uh, make her face pale. So I wanted to just paint a color. Then when I'm highlighting, I could now bring up all those um, white parts in some parts of her face. Instead of going around and making her all around just, you know, kind of pale, and then still highlight and go lighter the finished look will just be a bright face that would not look cute so i'm done with my foundation now i'm going in with my concealer so now i'm going in with a lighter concealer so this is a Too face born this way concealer in golden beige and i'm just gonna be applying this um just the high point of the face the forehead the bridge of the nose the jaw the size of the mouth I'm going to be highlighting all those parts of her face with this so i'm just going to let this i just want this video you all to see how i um apply the highlighting so now i'm just going to take my time to blend and i'm just going to let this video play out on my blending i'm going to fast forward some parts because you know <laughs> it gets a bit long but I just want you all to watch the blending process for a bit because I feel like I um do fast forward my videos a bit sometime and just cut out some areas of blending. So I kind of just want you all to see the process of blending. So you know like you don't just apply and just quickly blend. You need to take your time. Except you're doing your own face then okay whatever works your boots. But if you're doing a client's face you really need to take your time and let that concealer blend. Let the foundation blend. Let whatever you're doing take your time and blend that shit, sis. <laughs> Sorry, I'm swearing, but you know, just blend it, please. Now I'm going in with my um, NYX foundation in cappuccino and this is what I'll be using to kind of do a contour. Not really a contour, I'm just bronzing, I'm just uh, giving warmth to the face basically. I'm not going to contour in this look. I don't want her to have any harsh line whatsoever. For the fact that I used a shade a little bit darker in um, foundation for her, I was already giving her a contour. So right now what I'm doing is just bronzing. So I'm using this foundation. You can see it's kind of 
almost her shade so it's not really giving that contour effect that is it i just wanted a little bit of a bronzy effect after that i'm using my eye magic palette so i'm using the peach color as you all know and i'm just applying it at the high point of her face i mixed a little bit of pink into but i'm just using a little i'm not going with so much product on this look we're trying to keep this look as natural as possible you get you get it this is a soft glam we're trying to keep it as soft as possible we're trying to keep everything as minimal minimal blush minimal foundation concealer we're not doing the most and whenever when you do the most blend when you blend it just it fades off a bit so yeah i'm gonna blend everything all the blush i applied i'm just gonna blend it until it feels blended everything feels like skin so i keep looking at her until i feel everything is blended So now I'm just using my hydrating spray again and I'm going to just spray on the face. Okay, now the reason why I like to spray my hydrating spray on the face is kind of, I feel like it kind of tones down whatever product I put. If the product is a lot, it just kind of tones it down and just makes it feel more like skin. Kind of gives it a dewy effect. That is why I love to use the hydrating. If I'm not going for that look, if I just want a long lasting look, I'll just use a matifying um, spray. Okay, so now I'm setting her face, all the parts of the face where I applied the concealer and I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder, yeah, to do that because I feel like this is the best powder to use on her skin tone. It's just going to leave it just the way it is with the exact colors. It's not going to, you know, give a yellow tone or red tone, whatever. It's just going to leave my skin the way it is and that's exactly what i wanted i did not want any color especially underneath her eyes i just wanted it to just be that shade of concealer and foundation whatever i used there so see look it's just setting beautifully you guys laura Mercier setting spray um setting powder absolute favorite setting powder i just i just love it so much it's so beautiful I feel like the Merak um, Cosmetic Setting Powder actually comes second close. You guys get that setting powder in Nigeria and you cannot afford the La Masia Setting Powder. You'll go get Merak Cosmetic Setting Powder in Ginger. Absolutely gorgeous. Now going in with my... Um, I used the MAC Mineralized in Deep to bronze her face. I just applied a little bit on the sides of her face. And right now I'm using my Merak Cosmetic setting powder this is in curry and i'm just going to be using it to set the corners of her mouth those parts i applied concealer in the corners of her mouth yes i just want to set that part with that yellow powder i don't mind that part being yellow it gives a beautiful finish now i'm setting under the eyes with the laura masia i'm just um i'm not really setting i'm baking but i don't want to use a lot of powder because we're trying to keep this look as soft as possible so i'm using very little setting powder normally i like to go in with powders too big but you know we're trying to keep the skin as soft as possible so everything goes at you know the most minimal way like everything just minimal 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 right now i'm going on to do her brows and i'm using the beauty line by dd yeah i'm using the beauty line by dd Pencil. I'm also going to be using the shop belt pencil, but I think I'll be using that to fill in. So I'm just going to be using the beauty line by DD pencil to draw her brows and fill in the tail part. And I'm using the other pencil to fill in the beginning part of the brow. So it looks, you know, more like her hair. I'm just going to be going in with strokes. And I'm going to just let you guys watch this video. Just be light handed. When you're doing your brows, if you want it to look natural. Okay, right now I'm going in with concealer to clean up her brows, but what I used actually her shade of foundation and the concealer I used to highlight. So her shade of foundation to begin the brow. So it it just blends like her skin tone. I didn't want anything light. I didn't want anything darker. I just wanted to have that exact shade of her foundation. 
and then to highlight the brow bone i'm using the bun this way concealer the two face bun this way concealer in golden beige the same one to highlight her brow bone i'll also be using her foundation for the top of her brows to clean that up so when i blend it it's just gonna still blend like her skin there will be no harsh line so i'm just taking my time to um clean this up because you know their products on top of her brows already you don't want to go in heavy handed if not blend it's just gonna be so difficult so um as little as possible just try to apply your foundation or concealer carefully around the top of the brows So right now I'm just going to be cleaning up the brows, blending it out and after blending it out I'm going to be using this setting powder, the Mera Cosmetics setting powder in curry and I'm going to be using to set the entire brow. Okay, so now I'm going in with my MAC setting, my MAC powder. This is in dark deep. And I'm just going to be using it as a transition color for her crease. Just, I'm just applying it a little bit as a transition color. And now I'm going to be using this blush. This is an ink blush blush. I don't know the numbers it's just an old um, palette i just applied i just put in so many inglot products so this is a blush it's kind of a peach pale blush and i just use it to blend out that transition shade going in with this plum shade i'm just going to be applying it as a crease color and i'll be applying it all over the crease Now I'm applying my NYX Glitter Glue. I'll be applying this all over the lid. This is also really great for um, matte eyeshadows. So I'm just going to apply this and then I'm going to apply my matte eyeshadow from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. So I'm going in with those two shades and I'll be applying that as my lid color. So it's kind of like a peachish nude color. I'm going in with this plum shade, this darker or this purple, darker purple. I'm using two colors. There's a darker, there's a brown. I'm using and I'm blending it with that shade as my outer V shade. Going in with this BH Cosmetic Palette, I'm using that red to apply underneath her eyelid, her under eye color. So I want there to be a pop of color 
and this look so i just decided to apply a bit of red and a little bit of orange underneath her eyes so just that this shade pops and also because there was a little bit of red and orange red you can see the highlights on her hair yeah i just wanted it to come out too on her makeup you know so that there's a blend or there's a sink so now what I'm doing is I'm going in with my darkest shade of purple in this subculture palette and I'm using it to kind of smoke out her eyes. I'm just going, I'm kind of using, dragging it out a bit to the outer corner of the eyes just to create a smoky effect with this purple. And I'm just going to try to diffuse it. I'm using that brush with no product in it and I'm just blending it out because I don't want it to just be too strong. I'm lining with my Mera Cosmetic Pencil. This is the black pencil. And after lining it with this pencil, I'll just smoke it out a little bit. Going in with my NYX Epic Liner, I'm just going to line my eyes. And after lining, I'm going to be applying lashes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I went in with the Lustres Cosmetic Glitter. This is in Radiance. So I just applied a little bit of this shimmer on top of her eye. Just it gives a sparkle. Yeah, now I've done my lashes. I used the Voan Beauty Lashes. And now I'm just doing mascara underneath her eyes with the Zaron for in one mascara. So now I'm taking off all the powder, all the excess powder, all the baking using my double cosmetics i'm using a shade of powder and i'm just going to be blending that all over her, her face guys this look is so pretty what do you all think please you guys drop your comments below encourage uh -uh. don't you like these videos Eh? drop your comments please so now i'm going in with my sephora um powder this is in sand and i'm just going to be using it to dust out that excess um setting powder the bake i'm just dusting it out and i'm using this to blend under her eyes take your time to blend this and i'm using that same blush i used on that her crease area and i'm just applying this as a blush color it's very pale i love that it's very pale i just wanted a little bit of blush I'm still going to go ahead and use a liquid blush. I did not want that area to be too blushy. Going in with my Kiss Beauty Setting Spray, I'm just going to set the face. And now I'm going in with my TM Essential in I'm Sorry or I'm Not Sorry. I don't know which one. I will link it down below. Yeah, um, that's the shade I'm using, the liquid blush. And I'm using it on her cheek to blush. And after doing this, I just used my powder and I blended the blush a little bit because I felt like it was a little bit too much. And then I went on and did the lip video. You guys, you guys are not commenting on my video. So, if you want to see how I did this lip, if you love this lip, if you want to see how I did this lip, you have to drop a comment below and request for this sleep tutorial then i'm going to do a tutorial on this sleep if not then you guys don't want to see it and that's fine so you guys you can drop a comment down below and request to see a tutorial on the leap or you know whatever else you would love to see on this channel you know feel free to ask questions i'm always here to reply give you whatever answer you want you guys how gorgeous is this look Lee signature the hairstyle is finished up the hair it's so beautiful like i would say the front side is fronting everything is gorgeous this look is so pretty and i'm absolutely in love i hope you all are in love with this look too thank you guys so much for watching these videos thank you thank you thank you and i love you all bye bye till my next video